And of course, today is going to be a perfect day to have some a nice hot chicken because temperatures they're going to be on the chilly side. So let's bring <laughs> it on over over to the wall right now. 48 degrees is the high today. That's going to be a lot cooler than what we saw yesterday. We were actually maxing out in those upper 50s, lower 60s. Well, this time around, it's a little bit different. It's because we have a cold front coming through. This is bringing a lot more cloud cover into the region. As a result, temperatures are just not going to warm up all that much because there's not a lot of sunshine hanging around. Granted, things start to change as we head into the weekend. This cold front actually comes through gives us some slight chances for showers, then basically some strong winds, some dry air comes in from the north, helps to clear us out, helps to warm us up as we head into the weekend. Monday, that's going to be another cold front. This one's going to be a little bit on the stronger side. Obviously, rain chances are going to be increased across both Central Texas and the Brazos Valley. Then as we head into the middle of the week, really not a whole lot's changing except the low temperatures. You notice they're slowly dropping off. Then on Thursday, wait a minute, what happened there? 40 degrees for the highs, 20s for the lows. What's going on? Well, we got a lot of really deep Arctic air coming into the region just as we head into the holidays. So yeah, I'm seeing some big time cold temperatures. There's that front right there. It's slowly starting to move into our region. Clouds are starting to move in as well from the west. That's going to prevent basically these temperatures from warming up all that much. It's currently 41 degrees right now at our station in Temple. Time check 614 AM. A little more of those clouds starting to move into the Brownwood, Goldthwaite, and Llano region. That's going to continue as we go into the early morning. Right now, feels like temperatures are a bit on the cooler side. Granted, we're talking about some really strong winds starting to pick up ahead of this front. 38 is what it feels like in Marlin Temple and Colleen. 28 is what it feels like in Waco. So yeah, definitely keep those sweaters handy for yourself today. As you head into your last day of school for your Friday, excellent. 48 degrees. That's all we're going to be getting up to. PM rain is certainly possible, most of which I'm talking that's just going to stay in the Georgetown, Bryan College Station, as well as the Temple region. Nothing too more than that. But by tonight, most of that rain is going to be gone. Those clouds are going to begin decreasing, so that means temperatures are going to stay on the cool side once again. I'm talking upper 30s across most of central Texas. You get some of those strong gusts coming in as well. 15, 20 miles per hour from the north. That means it's going to be a bit on the chilly side. Expect wind chills to be in the 20s once again. Here we go. Heading into your late overnight on tonight. Well, not a whole lot different other than a little bit of that cloud cover slowly decreasing going into Saturday by afternoon. And then by Sunday, it starts to come right back into the forecast once again. Here's that big time cool down. Really? You can see that next front kind of sitting right over the Midwest by afternoon on Monday. That's what's going to be bringing in a lot of our rain. Then we start to see that next front moving out to the main part of the eastern United States by Thursday. Then it stretches into our region going into Sunday, just in time for Christmas, which is going to be a chilly one. Jasmine.